The Vancouver Canucks are at the center of a COVID-19 outbreak. 17 players are on the NHL's protocol list. That's more than half the team. Some coaches have been hit hard too. The NHL insists the season isn't over for the team, but as Eric Sorensen reports, the cases are still throwing a wrench into the schedule. For a while, the all-Canadian division of the NHL looked to be getting everything right. The season was proceeding almost uninterrupted. But now the Vancouver Canucks have been brought to their knees by COVID-19. From netminder Braden Holtby to star forward and captain Bo Horvat, close to 20 Canucks players and coaches are on the league's protocol list. Some are thought to be quite sick. Adam Godet's wife is herself recovering and tweeted last week, My hubby isn't in great shape, but I'm taking good care of him. First and foremost, there is concern for the health of the Canucks and their families across the league. Obviously what's happened in Vancouver is uh, a lot more than hockey. So, um, you know, we're obviously thinking, uh, you know, we're hoping that uh, everyone's doing all right. There are reports the more infectious variant first seen in Brazil is involved, potentially raising new risks for the league. We're now learning uh, this may make behaviors that were previously accepted and safe a little bit less safe. The NHL says it remains confident that Canucks will be able to complete their season. The league began January 13th with a 56-game regular season to run till May 8th. Then the playoffs were to start. Up to March 20th, more than two dozen U.S.-based games were postponed by COVID, with other games rescheduled. But then Canada was hit. Starting March 22nd, four Montreal Canadiens games were called off. And now for the Vancouver Canucks, four games have been postponed so far. And there may be more. The NHL is now extending the regular season to make up games starting the week of May 10th, and the playoffs will be pushed back from there. There is speculation the league may have to return to a bubble like last summer. It's really incumbent upon the Canucks organization and the league to really ensure that, uh, that the situation is tightened so that it doesn't spread and become a, a much bigger problem. But what has happened to the Canucks is a cautionary tale for all of us. If that can affect someone of that physical caliber, you know, none of us are at this athletic level. All of us are at risk. The serious outbreak with the Canucks comes in spite of the league doing regular testing and following stringent protocols, a sign that the next phase of the pandemic may be riskier than first imagined. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.